Just a reminder that this video is equipped with chapters, so feel free to skip or jump to the chapter that you want to watch. Okay, to get the specs out of the way, I am flashing them in the screen now along with the short version of the unboxing video. If you want to watch the more detailed unboxing video, you can find the link in the video description and it will also pop up somewhere in the screen now. Okay, now for the build of the Bebo Book S16. They went to a minimalist elegant design here with a plain silver color and a shiny, subtle and small Asus Bibo book lettering here in the right side. I like it very much. It's not flashy and looks very professional. Of course, we will need to do the obligatory one hand opening test here. In the faster test, we can easily open the laptop using one hand. Great. The keyboard color aligns with the same body color which I also like very much. It can also open flat up to 180 degrees. We again have a subtle Bebo Book logo here at the bottom of the screen bezel. The S16 has a backlit chiclet keyboard with one zone RGB lighting and a number pad, which you usually only get on a gaming laptop. And this is a wish come true for me as I always wanted an RGB keyboard lighting but did not want a bulky and heavy gaming laptop. This is perfect combination of thin, light and professional looking laptop with a gaming lighting aesthetics. I love it. The touchpad is big and has special controls when swiping from the sides, which I'll show more in details later. For the sticker placements, I'm not a fan of the stickers on the left side. They certainly could do better than this. It's not even aligned and there's no sense of any symmetry here. Maybe I'm just a bit OCD, but I did not like it. The body of the laptop feels sturdy with its aluminum body, which gives it a sleek, durable, and lightweight design, making it both stylish and very portable considering its size. We have wide vents at the bottom of the laptop and some rubber feet at the front and a rubber bar just beside the vents to facilitate airflow. S16 is very lightweight for a 16 inches laptop at only 1.5 kilograms. It measures 35.36 by 24.69 centimeters with thickness of 1.39 to 1.59 centimeters. The body is a USMIL str 810H military grade standard which give confidence for its durability. A sturdy portable body with gaming lighting aesthetic, what more can anyone ask for? As for the ports, there is definitely no shortage on ports here in the Bebo Book S16. On the left side, we have an HDMI 2.1 TMDS port, followed by two USB Type-C ports. Both have support for display and both also has power delivery features, so you can use any of the two for charging. The first port is a 3.2 Gen 1 with data speed of up to 5 Gbps and the second is a 3.2 Gen 3 that can support up to 40 Gbps data speed. Then we also have a micro SD card reader that can support up to 1 terabyte of storage. This should give ample space for your files and applications along with the 1 terabyte SSD that comes with the laptop. Then lastly on this left side is the 3.5 mm combo audio jack. On the right side with two USB Type-A, which are USB 3.2 Gen 1, with data speed up to 5 Gbps. Then we also have two LED indicator lights here. The first one is the power indicator and the second is the charging indicator. It's just a weird placement for the charging indicator though, since you are plugging in the charger, the USB Type-C port on the left side, while the charging indicator is on the other side. But it's not a big deal, just weird placement. Other than the physical ports, we of course have the wireless connectivities here. The laptop is equipped with the latest Wi-Fi 6E technology, which offers faster speeds, lower latency, and better performance in congested environments. This is particularly beneficial for streaming, online gaming, and video conferencing. Along with then is the Bluetooth 5.3, which ensures a stable and efficient connection with various Bluetooth devices such as headphones, mice, keyboards, and more. The Bebo Book S16 has more than enough ports and connectivity options to go by, and for someone coming from the small ZenBook 13 laptop, this is a great relief as I do not need a USB hub now anymore. The Asus Bebo Book S16 display is my favorite part of this laptop. It is designed to deliver exceptional visual performance, whether you're working on graphic design, watching high-definition content, or playing games. It comes with a 16 inches OLED display with a 3.2K resolution. That is 3200 by 2000 to be exact, 
The 89% screen-to-body ratio with 16 by 10 aspect ratio adds more vertical space, which is beneficial for productivity tasks and provides a more immersive viewing experience by minimizing the bezels around the display. As with almost all the OLED display from Asus, it has 100% DCI-P3 color gamut coverage, so the display can reproduce a wide range of colors, making it ideal for tasks that require color precision such as photo and video editing, which is mostly what I use this laptop for. The screen supports a peak brightness of 400 nits and a 600 nits HDR brightness, ensuring clarity even when using it outside. The HDR capability adds better contrast and color accuracy in supported content as well. The display also boasts a fast 0.2 millisecond response time and up to 120Hz refresh rate, providing smooth visuals with minimal motion blur, which is perfect for gaming and fast-paced videos. Its combination of high-resolution, OLED technology, broad color support, and superior response time makes it a standout feature for me of this laptop. And obviously, I love this superb display of the BeboBook S16. For the keyboard, we have a backlit chiclet, one zone RGB with number keypad. The 1.7mm key travel is perfect for me. This is of course subjective, but for me, my fingers were able to quickly adjust with the layout and key travel of the keyboard. With almost just a couple of hours, I've been typing like I was using the laptop for a long time already. As this is marketed as an AI laptop, we have dedicated co-pilot key here where we usually have the right control key. It simply opens the co-pilot application as what you would expect. Honestly, I don't get the appeal of this as it is easier to use the mouse and just click the co-pilot icon from the taskbar. But anyway, it is the right you need it. And again, coming from a 13 inches laptop, I appreciate the dedicated numpad here. It's very convenient when you're crunching numbers on Excel or something. And of course, I love the RGB lighting effects of the laptop. The keys are not as tactile as the ones I experienced with Lenovo laptops, but it's close enough. It does not feel cheap though, like the ones in Acer laptops. In fact, it feels very sturdy. I'm just missing some more kickback of tactility from it. On the bright side, the keys are quiet, so you won't disturb anyone when working late at night. Overall, the keyboard of the S16 is good. Not the best, but definitely one of the top laptop keyboards I've used. We also have a precision touchpad here, made out of glass, which offers a smooth and responsive surface. As you might notice, the touchpad is generously sized, providing ample space for multi-finger gestures and navigation. To be specific, it is 5.94 by 3.5 inches in size, which is significantly bigger than most touchpad from other laptops. And since it is huge, your hand will definitely touch it when typing. But don't worry as it is equipped with palm rejection technology to prevent accidental input while typing. In addition to that, it also packs unique edge gesture controls, which is not just a gimmick, but actually very helpful. Swiping on the right edge of the touchpad lets you control the brightness of the screen. The left edge lets you adjust the volume of the laptop, and this is the feature that I use most often as it is way easier and faster than going to the taskbar and adjusting the volume from there. Then a swipe from the top edge of the touchpad will also let you do a quick search or scroll within a video you're watching. The scroll is by 5 seconds on a slow swipe and it increases as you swipe faster. I don't use this much as it's a lot easier to just click on the video's progress bar than scrolling. But again, it's there if you need it. The laptop features a powerful 75 watt hours 4 cell lithium ion battery that supports up to 14 plus hours of usage on paper. Of course, when on paper, they always test that against the most minimum possible settings. On my actual usage, it's still a whole day laptop. I always use it at 60 Hz refresh rate, at 80% brightness, and 50% volume. For light usage like watching TV series or movies using headphones, MS Office related tasks, browsing, and writing, from 100% down to 15% takes around 8 hours. While on a more demanding usage, like watching videos using the laptop speakers, rendering or converting videos, and gaming, 100% down to 15% takes slightly more than 5 hours. By far, this is the most long-lasting laptop battery that I have owned. In movies or TV series, you always see the characters using their laptops unplugged for hours. And that always bothers me as the biggest fiction of all time. But with this Snapdragon Elite and this new Ryzen AI chip, those fiction scenes are a reality now. For battery management, Asus also provides software tools to help manage and optimize battery performance, ensuring you get the most out of your laptop's battery life. The fast charging capability of the Asus BeboBook S16 of 60% in under 50 minutes seems accurate, 
I always charge my laptop when it goes down to 15% and I get to 60% after around 40 minutes and then gets fully charged after another hour. Overall, I am very contented with the charging speed and battery life of the BeagleBook S16. It offers impressive battery life and the fast charging is very helpful, making it a reliable choice for both day-to-day -day activities and more demanding tasks. In the audio department, the BeagleBook S16 comes with a Harman Kardon tuned and certified built-in speakers. It offers a clear and immersive sound quality. The sound is so loud and it is literally like listening to a Bluetooth speakers. But of course, with its slim factor, you should not expect any good bass output here, but still delivers high fidelity sound, providing a balanced treble and great mids, which is particularly effective at enhancing vocal clarity, making it ideal for video calls and watching content with dialogue. Here are sample sound from the laptop. Time. People fake a lot of human interactions, but I feel like I fake them all, and I fake them very well. And that's my burden, I guess. The webcam of the BeagleBook S16 can record up to 1080p resolution. And I love that it comes with a physical privacy shutter which helps ensure your privacy by allowing you to cover the camera when it's not in use. It is also equipped with infrared function which enables it to support Windows Hello login or allowing for secure and convenient facial recognition Windows login. The built-in microphone array captures clear and accurate audio even without a dedicated external microphone. My Asus application also comes with the usual AI noise cancellation technology which helps a lot to filter out background noises during calls and recordings. Here is a sample video that I recorded on a moderately noisy environment to give you an example of the quality of both the full HD webcam and the microphone array. So this is the test of the microphone and also the webcam of the Asus BeagleBook S16. So we also have some uh, AI features here like auto framing so it will automatically adjust you to be on the center of the screen and also we have the eye contact. I'm not sure if it's working. I'm looking on the other items now but I think my eye still stays in the screen and we also have the background effects here the standard and portrait. So let me know what you think in the comment below. As expected with a laptop that is powered by the AMD's latest Ryzen AI 9HX370 processor, with AMD Radeon 890M graphics, and with 24 gigs of LPDDR5X RAM on board, it can handle both day-to-day -day tasks and demanding applications seamlessly. With its multi-core configuration, the CPU excels in multitasking, allowing you to run multiple applications simultaneously without any noticeable lag. In fact, I have not experienced any stuttering or lags in this laptop yet. But full disclosure, I am not a gamer. I do play casually, but not really a dedicated gamer. I mostly play just asphalt and online free shooting games on free time. I am more of a movie, TV series, and YouTube kind of guy. And the main reason I bought this laptop is for video editing. For video editing, I mostly use Filmora and sometimes also use Handbrake and DaVinci Resolve. It does not matter if it's 10 layer of videos being edited, overlapping videos and multiple effects, and basically anything I throw at it, BeagleBook S16 just breezes through the rendering easily. On average, the rendering time takes 20% faster than the length of the video being rendered. For example, rendering a 10 minute video takes only 8 minutes to finish. The longest video that I tried to render from this machine was my review of the Bebo V40 phone which is 21 minute long, and rendering took only barely more than 15 minutes. For handbrake, it is much faster at around 35% faster than the length of the video being converted. I'm not sure how to measure or test it yet, but the laptop's processor also has an integrated neural processing unit, or NPU, which enhances performance for AI-related tasks such as voice recognition and real-time video processing. I've been using some AI features of Filmora and also using Copilot a lot, and they seem a lot faster when comparing to my previous laptop. I'm not sure though if that's because of the NPU, because this laptop is also a lot more powerful than my previous laptop. While VivoBook S16 is not primarily a gaming laptop, the GPU can handle light to moderate gaming and a superb video editing capability. It delivers good frame rates and smooth visuals for games on medium settings. 
For the thermal management, the laptop features ASSI's cool thermal technology which helps manage heat effectively even during intensive tasks. And the laptop does gets hot but it's not something to be alarmed about. My ZenBook 13 is probably 50% hotter than this one which is understandable since this is a bigger laptop and more space where heat can dissipate. In various benchmarking tests, the laptop scores favorably indicating a balanced performance for both CPU and GPU tasks. Performance-wise, although this laptop is still not on par with an RTX 3050 laptops, but it is really very close now. Alright. In summary, the Asus VivoBook S16 provides solid overall performance with its robust CPU and capable GPU. It's a well-rounded machine that can handle a variety of tasks efficiently, making it suitable for both work and leisure. Of course, while the AMD Radeon 890M graphics is suitable for most tasks, it may not perform well with high-end gaming or extremely graphics-intensive applications that the RTX laptops can deliver, especially the 5060s that just came out. Another hurdle for getting this laptop is the price tag, which is around 82,000 Philippine pesos. I don't know about you, but 82,000 is an expensive price for me. I needed many months of my allowance savings to afford this one, but I think it was worth it. It offers excellent multitasking capabilities and handles both everyday tasks and demanding applications smoothly. The 3K OLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate provides vibrant colors and a smooth visual experience. It offers a very decent hours of battery life, making it suitable for extended periods without charging. I love its sleek and minimalist design with a slim profile and lightweight enhancing portability, and yet also brings a gaming keyboard lighting aesthetics, which along with the touchpad, brings an ergonomic, full-size, comfortable, and responsive user experience. Equipped with an NPU with up to 50 tops performance, it also offers an enhanced AI and machine learning capabilities, although I still need to learn how to fully utilize this. Lastly, the Harman Kardon certified speakers with Sonic Master technology delivers high fidelity sound and audio enhancement features. For me, the Asus VivoBook S16 is an excellent choice for users who require a blend of performance, portability, and modern features. However, it could be very expensive for students and it might also not be the best choice for dedicated gamers or users requiring high-end graphics performance. Other than those demographics, I would highly recommend it to anyone, especially those who need a modern, high-performing laptop for daily tasks and entertainment. The VivoBook S16 is perfect for those who need a reliable and powerful laptop for work, including tasks like office suites, web development, and content creation, and then lay back at the end of the day for media consumption. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. No bear.